Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2474. As a special dedication to Cass, where we have 12 moves to clear out 15 jelly. The jelly is down here, but we've got work to do before we can get there. We've got to remove the sugar chests by collecting sugar keys. Then we'll get one more sugar key, and then we can remove these sugar chests. But when we do, this then can go ahead and spread things for every three turns that we take that we don't strike against it. Uh, this is going to be a really tough level. I mean, it's listed as hard, but I would say it's probably harder than hard. The reason I am doing this special request for Cass is because she pointed out that, well, we have about half as many moves as we used to have. Less than half uh, than what we had before. So um, I think this is a harder than hard level. And I know I may be here a while because I'm going to have to get not only luck, but also then I'm going to have to play well. So now that I've got this open, I need to try to break through this uh, meringue frosting, and that's not working out so well. And this is where, you know, it's just a bad setup. So I'm going to hope for a better setup in the future. Now, uh, let me show you something. I'm going to go ahead and exit and enter without losing a life and without losing a booster. Let's say I wanted to go in with boosters. Now this does not work for everybody, unfortunately, but it does work for me and it works for some people and I want to show you just in case it works for you. So let's say you want to go in and you want to start with boosters and you don't want to lose any lives if you don't like the setup. So I've got 541 of these color bombs. And let's say I don't like this setup because I don't, I wanted to get a color bomb striped candy combo, or I wanted both of the keys to be green so I could match them right away or something like that. Well, then I can go ahead and exit and I still have my four lives. Remember I had lost one and I still have 541 color bombs. Now, if you don't get that advantage, you can try playing on a different device or browser and you might find that you get one. I want to show you that, but I don't want to use that because a lot of people don't have that ability anymore, and so I want to be equitable. So each of these tries is going to be just whatever the board gives me. I'm going to hope for the best. Now, I can actually make some strikes down here, even through these sugar chests, because there's no frosting here, but I still can't reach this, so... This is not going all that great for me. I can't even get over to this side. So yeah, it's going to be a long road here. Um, see, now I'm over here, but now I have to break through. Can't quite break through. Don't see the best possible move for myself, except maybe I can get an orange through here to open it up that way. That's what I was hoping for, but not enough time to get all this done. So the next time, ooh, nice cascading. See what can happen if we, oh, I have sugar stars back. Uh, this is what can happen if we open this up more quickly. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is pause the recording and I'm going to go ahead and start on a new board. And if it, it gives me the win, if I win it, or if I find out something either particularly interesting, I get close, I uh, find a pitfall, then I'm going to go ahead and show you the recording. Otherwise, I'm just going to erase it and, and add on the next one that looks like it might be good. So I'll meet you back here with either something helpful or a win. I actually thought of something interesting to show off because this is going to allow me to do it. If I make this move, notice how that key comes and slides out this way. Unfortunately, it doesn't work the same here. If I make this move, it slides from here. So it kind of works the same way. It's sliding from the left to the right, but it doesn't help with this little spot here, and so that's a bit frustrating. Let's see if I can get more red here. This is actually looking a bit better than the other ones have in the past. So now let's talk about this. Right now, it would be a bad time for me to collect this key because this is all energized and ready to explode. It's okay because I can't collect that key anyway. Ooh, should I make this stripe, which then would allow me to make a wrapped? Should I just go ahead and plow through here, which would open this up? I'm going to do this, even though it's taking away some turns. Now look at this. This is ready to go, and I am going to take out that key. 
but I'm hoping because I hit this, it is now stunned so it can't explode at me. And then the question is, what's my next best move? Well, this would hit this and open this up a bit more. A bit more. I'm actually going to go for the cascade, and if this gets hit on the backswing, great, and if not, oh well. We just get that. But look at this. All of these colors are wrong. They're just wrong. They're not matching up. Yep, so anyway, that's how I lose that one. But hopefully you got some additional information about being careful of opening this up at the wrong time or without being able to strike it and uh, how things flow. All right, I'll meet you back here with another board in a bit. Have you ever seen a collection of stuff that almost works but doesn't, like this one <laughs> It's turning out to be? Ah, <sighs> well, look at that. I do like this concentration of color, and it is paying off a bit. So this is the point where I start to get so excited that I tend to rush through things. But I'm going to evaluate instead. I've got these orange here. Is there any way I could drop this down? No, not really. I mean, I could pull this and try to get another orange into position, but it's a one in five chance. It's not one I'm willing to take. Uh, it's recommended that I take this move, and I think this is the move I will take because it will position the blue here, and then I'll be able to pull things over and bring more into this area. I don't see any better opportunity for myself. So, and then it's bringing purple in, which is beautiful. That's connecting right away. Now, I didn't really intend to take that key out right away, so I'm a little bit worried about what might happen here, but look at this. This is not about to go yet. I'm going to make a color bomb, and then I'm going to take a striped wrapped combo. Look at how beautiful this is. It's really blowing up, literally, in here. I could take out purple, green, or blue with this, and I think I will right away. Oh, now I should probably set this off first because that was double thick, and so I needed to make that get struck. And now let's see, purple or blue are my options. Purple. We're bringing things in. There we go. We're exploding things. Look at this. Ah, this is a better chance of being matched with a special. This can only take out green, though, but green is a good choice. And unfortunately, the special that I could match it with would take a turn to get it done. So I think what I do is match with red, and there we go. We got the final results we needed. Unfortunately, it took me 34 tries to get those final results. I got close so many times, which meant that I knew I was on the right path. But then there were some times where I made no progress whatsoever. I couldn't even get two of the keys collected. So that's what kind of board this is. Unless you have the opportunity either to play around with exiting and entering or to bring in boosters to help you. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. To Cass and to all of you, I wish you the best success on this. I know it's frustrating. Maybe patience is the best thing you can bring to this board. And as always, folks, thanks so much for watching.